What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I just finished filming my apartment haul video and there's a complete mess around me right now. Should I show you? Should I not show you? It's kind of embarrassing if I show you, but you know what? I'm gonna show you. It's okay. Now that I finished filming that, it's time to clean up and I thought I would bring you guys along. You know, I have to set up the kitchen, figure out where I'm gonna put everything and I thought it would be fun to vlog it. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is basically all the cabinet space I have. Up here I already put cans, food, seasonings, oil. So I'm just gonna keep this the way it is for food until I get a pantry so I think on this side I'm gonna put all of my dishes plates bowls stuff like that so let's go ahead and start with that That's looking pretty good. I wish I could fit something next to these plates. Well, maybe I can put my cups there. Over here, I have eight glasses. I'm gonna figure out how I should put these. Do eight fit here? Wait. Hey you guys, I am in a robe right now because it is freezing outside and I just want it to be cozy. You have no idea the mess I have in this apartment. Like you are gonna die when you see this. Should I show you? I think it's too crazy. I don't think I can put this on the internet. It's too embarrassing. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna show you. Okay, don't judge. I haven't unpacked. Ready? Okay, look at this mess. <laughs> you guys, it's pretty bad. Here are my boys. Hi Levi. I have an explanation for this. This whole time I haven't been able to unpack my clothes because I didn't have a dresser so I had nowhere to put all of the the clothes you see in those boxes and I finally got one look at my dresser of course there's still like junk on it but yeah I got this dresser and now I can finally put away everything that's just been sitting in the apartment like all of this stuff I can finally put it away I'm so excited this dresser thing has been holding me back that's the reason why I haven't unpacked because like most of my things need to go in dressers but anyway over here is actually my collection of boxes that I need to take to the recycling center and Levi <laughs> let me turn this light on I'm still working out the lighting Woo! okay I feel good that I've like unpacked everything in those boxes those were the things that I bought if you guys haven't seen my apartment haul video you will see everything that was in those boxes to be honest I'm trying to find the best angle where you guys can't see the mess behind me but it just seems like no matter what angle I do you're gonna see the mess so please ignore it <laughs> I actually want to set this up right now because I want to throw this box away I mean recycle the box if you guys didn't see this in my apartment haul video this is just like a electric water bottle pump for like this huge five gallon water jug I have so we're gonna set this up hopefully it's easy and not too complicated let's see okay directions I found the directions okay so I have to charge it first while we wait for it to charge I can do something else so anyway here it is I'm sorry for Levi's breathing he's breathing so loud <laughs> he'll calm down in a bit so we're gonna leave that charging for three hours and it's almost 10 o'clock I'll keep track of that the next thing I'm gonna do I just don't even know where to start there's so much oh Okay, I know where to start. I actually went to TJ Maxx yesterday and I thought I would show you guys the things that I got so that I can put it away because I, I want to show you guys. <laughs> there were just a few things that I was still missing for the apartment and I just got a little carried away. Let me show you guys. Okay, so the first thing I got, Levi's stepping all over it, is this little welcome mat. I needed like a mat in the entrance of the apartment just because everything outside is like dirt and grass. So the floor gets so dirty so fast. So I'm hoping this will help, you know, like just cleaning off my feet before walking walking in. It says welcome with a little period. So cute. Oh, you can't even see the period, but there's a period there. Anyway. Okay, the second thing I got is this little yoga mat. It's super cute. It's black and like whitish, grayish, bluish. <laughs> it's from the brand Gaiam. That's the brand. I really want to start doing like at-home workouts, especially now that the new year's coming up. I feel like I'll have like a fresh start. So I really wanted to get a yoga mat. I really like this one. It's super thick and it's pretty long. So that's the second thing I got at TJ Maxx. Then I got some ice cube trays. This is a set of two. These are really cute because they're like small little cubes and also it's like silicone at the bottom. So it's easy to pop out the ice cubes. I don't have an ice maker like the fridge. This fridge doesn't have like a built-in ice maker or anything like that. So I got this one. It was three bucks. Next, I got this little makeup brush. This is just a domed powder brush. Small. Five bucks. Then I got this. This is an exfoliating skin brush just to like exfoliate before shaving. I also got one for my mom. Well, this is the one for my mom. Mine is pink. Here's what the exfoliating brush looks like. This one's mine. <laughs> it's just like a silicone exfoliating brush. I really like it because I feel like it's a lot more hygienic because it's silicone. It's so much easier to clean as opposed to like a sponge or something like that. So I got this to exfoliate. The next thing I got is 
is this really cute cardigan. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like a beige color. It's really soft and cozy, but it looks elegant when you put it on. I don't know if that makes sense, but it has like a nice collar. It's super pretty. I also got this pajama set, these shorts, and this is what the top looks like. It's just like a button up shirt. It has navy and white lines. I thought it was super cute. I don't have cute pajama sets. I don't know. I wear basketball shorts and like a t-shirt as pajamas. So I thought it'd be a good idea to like, I don't know, have a cute pajama set. I also got this set, these shorts. Oh, this is the back. These are the shorts, gray and white stripes. And this is the top. This one's more of like a hoodie, long sleeve hoodie, pajama top. I don't know if you guys can see. It's really cute, super soft and cozy. I really like the pajamas at TJ Maxx. I feel like they have really cute ones and they have a lot of like sets and stuff too. So what else did I get at TJ Maxx? I feel like I'm missing so many things. Oh, hold on. I need to show you guys this. I got a wine glass set. I am so excited about these because I have been looking for wine glasses for the apartment and I don't know I just couldn't find ones that I liked usually they would be like four for 25 and I found this set at TJ Maxx and it brings six glasses and it's 15 bucks so it's like the cheapest set I've seen so far and you guys they're so pretty they're actually meant for like white wine but you guys I'm gonna just pour whatever wine in here like I know there are like certain shapes for certain wines but I don't know I really like this shape it's not such a round glass and it came with six and I love these I'm so excited now I don't have much cupboard space so hopefully I can fit six wine glasses so the next thing I'm gonna show you is the thing I am most excited about I saw these and I fell in love and I almost didn't find my size I found the last size seven ready I found these boots they are so freaking cool I am obsessed with these boots they're just black boots they come with these cool straps that come across the front and the top they're so cool I love them I'm so glad I was able to find my size I almost didn't find my size I would have bought them in the six and a half because I found a six and a half and I almost bought the six and a half and then luckily I found my size which is a seven so I love these I'm obsessed and I got them at TJ Maxx how much were they they were 25 bucks can you believe it. I love them. The next thing I got is this hoodie. It's just a basic gray hoodie, but it's a little bit different, okay? It's not that basic because it actually has like, this is the hood part of it. And then it has like this neck piece that comes up. It's kind of like a, like a, what's this called? Like a scarf kind of thing, but you can actually lift it over your face and cinch it at the back. So you have kind of like a face cover if it's too cold. And also this works for like the whole COVID thing. If you forgot your mask or something, you can just pull it over your face. So this is like how you would do it. It like kind of bunches up or you can bring it over your face like that. And the inside, is super soft it's like a fuzzy material on the inside and it's all throughout the sweater I've noticed that a lot of times when jackets or sweaters have like cute super soft fuzzy fabric it kind of ends in the chest area and it doesn't really go down the arms this one goes all throughout the sweater so I got this I apologize about the lighting you guys I, I feel like it's kind of dark but the next thing I got is this little slow feeder bowl for Levi he eats his food so fast you guys it's insane like he finishes before Kahlua and Nike it's just crazy how fast he eats his food and I know that's probably not too safe for him so I got him this slow feeder I love the color and the inside is super cute it's like a little maze it helps prevent canine obesity and bloat and it's a fun and healthy way of eating so I got him this I already fed him in it and he did pretty good he ate a lot slower which is awesome I actually bought him one of these on Amazon a year ago but it was super small and I couldn't find a big one like this until I saw it at TJ Maxx so I got him this one and that's it you guys that is all that I got at TJ Maxx so now that I I showed you everything I'm gonna start putting it away so I actually recorded myself starting to put away my dishes and then my camera died and I had left my batteries at the other house so I finished and this is what it looks like so far I just put the bowls and the small plates here in the bottom shelf and then the big plates in the middle and then I have the glasses on top so now I'm gonna try oh this is like a little yogurt glass <laughs> I keep the glasses because I feel like I can use them for something but anyway I'm gonna try and put the wine glasses up here no! You guys, they don't fit! Oh, they fit in the first room. Okay, I'm gonna have to switch this all around. Okay, so I switched it around and I just decided to put the glasses down here even though I wish I could just put these up there because I don't use them that often and I want to make this practical like normally I would put like the bowls and the plates on the bottom and then the glasses in the middle I don't know I don't know how to organize this but I think this is fine for now I'll figure it out as I go if I have to change it I can always change it that's done next I don't even know what to do next Alright you guys, 
guys. So I organized my spoons and forks and knives. I just did big spoon, little spoon, big fork, little fork, and then the knives right here. And I think this will work for now. And I think I'm just gonna put this can opener here on the side for now. Oh, it won't close. I think it's the cardboard, hold on. There you go. Perfect. So I forgot I also have these little shot glasses and I think this would work perfectly right next to the wine glasses. There's like a little gap over here. Maybe the first shelf will be for my alcoholic beverage holders, you know? <laughs> Okay, it definitely does not fill up the entire space, but this will work for now. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It has been weeks since I've last vlogged, but it is finally time to set up my bed. You guys, I have been sleeping in this portable foldable mattress for so long and my dogs have jumped all over it. Like it's been a mess. So I am so excited to finally set up the bed. I bought this wooden frame from Walmart and my mattress just came in. I just ordered it from Amazon. It's one of those like foldable mattresses that you unfold and it like inflates or something like that. And I'm really excited to finally sleep on a bed. So I thought I would bring you guys along. Yesterday I actually spray painted my fridge. I've talked about wanting to spray paint the fridge for so long and I finally did it yesterday. It turned out pretty cool. I will actually show it to you guys a little bit later, but please excuse the mess. Here's the mattress. It looks disgusting because my dogs have jumped all over it. You can see their paw prints all over the mattress. I bought a mattress protector for it, but it was too small, so it ended up not working too well and kind of riding down on the mattress, but it's fine. This is usually the mattress we use when we go camping or with the horses somewhere um, and we just put it in the horse trailer, so it's not that. I mean, I feel bad because I would like it to be clean. Like I hate the fact that it's like all stains and stuff, but it's fine, it's just a portable mattress. Anyway, I was saying I'm gonna go ahead and fold this up, fold up the frame as well, because the frame is again another portable kind of bed thing, and we'll get to building my bed. I'm so excited, you guys. I am so excited to finally have an official bed. By the way, here's Nike, just chilling on the mattress protector I had on. I didn't fit. Do you like that mattress protector? Aren't you hot? But yeah, my room is a mess. I got a mirror. What's up, guys? Look at, the, look at the mess behind me. This is why I haven't vlogged it's because my whole room has look at this You see I don't know where to vlog so you guys don't see the mess But this is why I haven't vlogged because I have just been living in a mess for a while because I've been so busy And a lot has been going on and I haven't had a chance to clean so I can't vlog in this mess But luckily now once the bed is made it'll all be better and I look like crap and crazy because it's like 12 o'clock midnight And I just got home from work I look like a mess, but I have to get this done. I have to get it done, so let's do it. By the way, here is the bed I ordered. It's a queen, classic framed platform bed. It's been sitting at the edge of this bed for so long and I'm finally getting around to building it. This little corner is destroyed because that little dog right there was chewing on all my stuff. But luckily he didn't actually get to the board of the bed, so it's fine, but yeah. Now it's time to set up this bed. I'm pretty good when it comes to putting furniture together. I actually find it kind of fun. Today I don't feel like it's kind of fun just because I have to work tomorrow morning and it's already 11 p.m. So that's the only thing that's not too exciting. I won't be able to relax, listen to music and chill, take my time and build furniture. I don't know why I think building furniture is so fun, but anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'm already sweating. Let's do it, let's get started. changed because this looks like it's gonna be a mission and I want to be cozy so now now let's start this
1 in the morning and I am officially done with the bed. Ta-da! Here it is. The room is a complete mess, but I'm so glad I was able to get this done. Look at the mess. Oh my gosh. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab the mattress and lay it out. guys here is the final result so it takes about 24 to 48 hours for it to fully inflate but i am finally done i think it's like three in the morning and i'm exhausted so good night and i'll see you guys next time i pick up the camera <laughs> what's up you guys it's the next day i just got back from a shoot and i'm officially putting the bed together it has completely inflated as you can see i just put the mattress protector on it and i'm making the bed right now but i thought i would show you guys the final result i love the way it looks let's put the bed sheets and the comforter and everything on first done the bed is made i am obsessed with the headboard with the frame everything here is what it looks like ta-da look at the mess in my room though look at all the styrofoam all over the floor yeah it's a mess so next up time to sweep <laughs> 